Hi y'all, uh, I just wanted to take a minute here and introduce myself. Um, my name is Kodak, my trail name. Um, I plan to hike the Appalachian Trail. Um, my start date will be March 12th, 2020. Um, it, it, for those of you who don't know me, um, I'll just give you a little information about myself. I um, am 45, so I guess this might be something you would consider midlife. I'm not gonna say crisis. Uh, my husband and I are both veterans. He just recently retired um, within the last couple of years. I have five amazing children um, who, four of those are also um, either currently serving our country or are um, veterans themselves. Um, so I wanted to just give a little bit of information on, I guess it's, it seems to be the norm that before you um, take off on your hike and adventure, um, that you share a little bit about why and what you're doing and etc. So um, I basically want to set up this channel and um, give some information and share some adventures with um, friends and family who have number one been very curious what are you doing why do you plan to hike over 2,000 miles um, and let you follow along if you choose. Um, I hope you get past my nervous first YouTube video. I'm usually behind the camera, not in front, so this is something totally new to me, so be gentle. Um, I want to let you follow along if you choose and just have a look at what um, I experience. I will not be posting a day-to-day -day documentary. I just don't want to take that time out of my beautiful hike to um, spend on, on videos. But I will be posting through, periodically throughout the trail. I do have a wonderful um, production and editor, um, and that is one of my sons, um, my youngest. He's going to help me out. Shout out. Thanks, Devin. Um, and a big shout out to my family and my friends who um, are planning to support me in my in my venture. So I guess the main thing that people may wonder is why. Why would you choose to endure um, months of being outdoors away from the comforts of home and everything that we you know we have in our daily lives? So for me, um, I'm going to start it out. It may sound really odd to say, but I think I've become greedy. Uh, and that may sound horrible, but I think it's the honest truth, and I want to try to be honest about everything in these videos. Um, at my stage of life, um, I do have, like I said, five wonderful children. They are grown and have left home. Um, I have a wonderful husband who retired and has plenty of free time to do the things that he enjoys. And um, I, I also, that's why we moved here to the, to the mountains of West Virginia, to enjoy um, our life and our time that we now have on our hands. Um, so... I basically, um, growing up, I had um, some sick family members who um, had some serious health issues. Um, as in my younger life, I always had to kind of um, be responsible for one of my parents who needed um, someone there to make sure that um, if something happens, that there was someone there to contact emergency services, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I ended up losing them um, in my teen years. Um, following that, um, almost within a two-year period, um, my other parent um, actually um, battled cancer and lost that battle. So um, I have basically um, grown up really fast. Um, after that, um, of course, moved on, went in the military, um, and then, you know, started a family. And um, so I was, you know, a caregiver, a soldier, a mother a wife um, and I've always been giving and what my opinion would be I hope the, the best I can and all that I can to my family and my friends and my jobs and um, I've done numerous things I've done everything from you know sitting behind a desk all day to flying hot air balloons and um, fixed wing aircraft um, touching on that I think that's a little bit of my adventure and I've been missing that it's been a few years since I've you know had that excitement in my life, if you will. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. When I say greedy, I guess I mean that I'm finally going to say, you know, it's my turn. Um, I think I've, if you will, served my time and um, everybody seems to be successful and healthy and happy. And so now I'm going to take a little me time. And my wonderful understanding husband has, you know, been very accepting about the idea that I'm going to take off for months, up to six months and leave him here to handle the, the mini farm that we have. Um, so that's kind of why. Um, I know that's one of the biggest questions of people are, why would you do that? Um, the next question would be how. Um, basically, I'm just going to go. 
Um, I, I've always en enjoyed the outdoors. I grew up in um, the hills and woods of Missouri. Go Chiefs, it's game day, so I gotta make this short. Um, so that's pretty much it. I, I hunt, I fish, I hike, I, I, I just love the outdoors. It's always been something that's been in my life and um, I get a, a, a peace, if you will, when I just have those moments away from the mayhem and the hectic and the, and now I'm at a point I have that opportunity. Um, I've been uh, kind of back of my mind about the trail for about 15, 16 years now is when I first got this itch. Um, and it's just kind of been there and now I'm gonna act on it. Um, they always say, you know, there's never a better time than now. It all starts with one step, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, for me, um, I finally just said, I'm doing it. And, you know, I, I hope that, you know, you all can tune in and continue with my, with my videos until I reach Katahdin. It's gonna be a monumental event in my life and I think I will walk away um, a different person in some respects. Um, I don't want to let that change me, um, who I am and my, my basic foundation, but I do believe that it will be something very freeing and um, something that will settle that itch. Um, so I guess that's pretty much the why, the how, um, over 2,000 miles. Um, I also am to the point where I know if I don't do it now, I won't do it, and you can't give up. Um, when I lost one of my parents, the last thing that they told me was don't die with regrets. And I honestly feel like if I don't do this, um, I, I will regret it. Uh, and I don't want to. I don't want to regret that. I've done so many things in my life. I have so many memories. I have so many beautiful things that have happened to me. I've had, you know, the rough times too, just like anybody else. But my favorite activity, I think, in life is making memories. And this will be huge. For me. I hope that those of you who aren't familiar with the trail um, follow along. I will be giving some more information on the trail. Um, I will be posting some links below. Well, my son will when he does these videos for me. Um, and, you know, there's a, there's a lot of information there. If this is something that you've ever considered, um, please look into it and think about it. And if you can, find a way. Uh, if, the, if this isn't your adventure and you have a different one, you know, get out there and do it. We only are given so much time, and um, I don't want to see anyone look back and say, wish I could have, would have, should have. Um, so that's pretty much where we're at with my view on um, the, the hike itself. So if there's anything else that you guys want to know, questions, comments, please drop them in the comments. Um, I will try to get back to everyone. I'm hoping to be as responsive as I can. Of course, um, like I said, I will be sharing these videos from the trail. Um, also, a, a lot of still pictures. Um, Kodak, of course, I am, you know, burning up the, the pixels and the... The, you know, the cameras. Um, my husband always gives me a hard time and says I could have kept Kodak film developing in business if they were still around um, with the amount of pictures that I take. And I think it's true, but um, I will see a lot of beauty and I hope I can share some of that with you, especially those of you who aren't from this area, um, because, you know, of course I am over here on this, on, near the East Coast, um, southernmost northern state, northernmost southern state here in West Virginia. And um, I hope I can share some, some sights and some beauty with you, which you may have never seen and maybe not won't get the opportunity to see yourself. So I hope you follow along. Um, you want to hit that subscribe button. That's great. I, I, I would enjoy that. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not here um, looking for fame. I'm not here looking to make a name for myself on YouTube. Uh, whatever, whoever follows me, I, I think that's fantastic and I'm excited. I'm excited to share it with you. But, you know, as I said, I did this mostly for family and friends and to document it for myself so that later on um, I can bring back some of those, some of those moments that I experience on the trail. I guess that's about it for today. Um, I, my son told me that the, the best way to do this is to keep my videos kind of short and sweet, um, you know, hopefully under 10 minutes. I'm getting pretty close, so kind of excited that I accomplished this. Um, it's, it's a very nerve-wracking thing to get in front of a camera, especially to kind of bear some of your, some of your story. Um, yeah, so if you want to follow along and tag along, I will be starting March 12th um, from the Approach Trail in Springer Mountain. There are 604 steps um, up the mountain to Springer Mountain before you even actually touch the trail itself. So it's about eight miles-ish and 604 steps included in that. So that's a challenge in itself. Um, Anyone who wants to, you know, drop some kind words along the way and give me a little support, I'm sure at the end of a rainy, cold, nasty day, 
after three days of not showering and eating, you know, junk on the trail to survive, uh, I'm sure it would really be nice to read some read some good comments and things. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions that I can, you know, answer for you now along the way, whenever. I will be dropping some more videos um, before I leave. I want to do a gear review video, just like everyone on YouTube, um, about what I'm taking with me. I have some small cottage companies that I've purchased some of my gear from, and I really want to give them a shout out. They've been fantastic. Great products, great customer service. Um, I also have some of the, you know, the mainstays um, from different companies that most people purchase their items from. I'll be doing a food video, kind of give you an idea of what I will be eating on the trail so that everyone as you're, you know, at home having your fried chicken and pot roast and all the yummies, you can see what I have with my tuna packets and my ramen noodles. Um, but I think that's about it. Like I said, if you have any questions, um, you want to give me a shout out. If you do subscribe to my channel, I would say probably in your best interest to turn on the notifications because I, like I said, it'll be random. I'm not sure when these videos will be going out. I know they will be delayed um, because I will have to get them uploaded to you know our drive and to my son and let him edit and put together because I am a you know hot mess as far as where I'll be taking pictures and videoing and etc. Um, so just, you know, maybe turn on the notifications so you do know when I do put out a new video. Um, super excited, super nervous. The amount of emotions um, going into this, I can't even really explain. Um, for those of you who may worry, um, I will be safe. I will be fine. It is a, um, it is a, a journey amongst others. So I won't be out there completely alone in the middle of the wilderness with bears and snakes, oh my. It, it'll be okay. So, the, you know, just, just remember that. Um, like I said, so anyway, I'm going to let you go today. I have a very important game to watch today. Um, and sorry to all my Titan fans, friends out there. Uh, it's not your day. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I guess that's it. Um, like I said, um, Kodak hikes her own. Um, I will be hiking my own hike. Um, it will be dedicated, or um, sorry, dictated by myself. Um, I will decide when I hike, where I hike, what I hike. So have a great day, everybody. Um, enjoy your Sunday for those of you here in the, in the lovely, cold, snowy east side of the country. Um, get out there and play in the snow a little bit. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Take care, and I will see you soon.